Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dot plot that you can use to show before and after data. So let's say for example we have this data, this is just some made up data that I did for different regions, northeast, southwest, and we have, we wanted to show the percentage market share of some widgets in Q1 as opposed to Q2. So you can have your kind of Q1 as this blue color and Q2 as this gray color. And so we kind of see the before and after the Q1 and Q2 data here. So this is Q2, this is Q1 here. Uh, it kind of went back when we went to Q2 here. So this is kind of a very simple type of a chart. We're going to use a dot plot. We're, this is a dot plot type of chart. It's actually using a scatter plot. And I'll show you how to do this. Let's go ahead and just bring in uh, this data here. Let me go. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just bring in this whole table here. Control C to copy, uh, create a new sheet. Add, click the plus sign here, and just go ahead and paste it to create my new sheet here. So let's go ahead and create this. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on outside of uh, my range of data here. If I clicked inside my range of data here and clicked insert with the, the chart, it's going to try to plot out the chart with the data here. So I'm just going to go start from scratch here and go ahead and click outside my range of data here. And under the insert tab, I'm going to insert a scatter plot. So this is going to be a scatter chart. Go ahead and click that. It's going to have nothing in here so far. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me increase this a little bit and start to input the data in. So under the uh, chart, under the chart tools, we have our design tab. Go ahead and select select data. And with select data, I'm going to click add. And the first thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add, oops, let me go ahead and click add. I'm going to add the series name, which is Q1. This is the first series. Then my X value is going to be this one, the range of data north, south. And then my Y value is going to be uh, this one, the separator. And why, and as I mentioned before, I'm going to describe why we use the separator. And the separator is basically my y value. So you can see here the the first y value is north, which is four. So it plots it on the y-axis four. The second one is three. It plots it on three. The third one is two, and the fourth one is one. So it's kind of in, in descending order. You can also do this in ascending order if you wanted to. If you wanted to have north uh, be at the bottom first and go up, but I'm following uh, this particular table where north comes first at the top. So at the top it would be at the highest number four. So let me go ahead and click OK. And now we have our data there. I also want to put in Q2's data now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add and then it's going to bring up me my edit series. The series is going to be Q2. The uh, X series is going to be uh, this range of data here. The Y series values. Let me go ahead and delete that it's going to be my separators again because they're going to be on the same y-axis. Let me go ahead and bring this over here. Click OK and then click OK again and now I have my dot plot. What I want to do is increase the sizes of this. So I'm going to click on first the Q1 and you can see it's all selected. Right click and format data series. And what this is going to do is bring up my format data series pane. I'm going to go under the fill and go to marker. And under marker options, we want to increase the size. So click that. Click the built-in uh, radio button. And this looks like, it doesn't look like a circle. It looks like kind of like a starburst, but it is a circle. And that's the type I want. You can see there's other types. If we wanted to have other types, like a square or a diamond, we can do that. Or even a picture. But I'm going to stick with the circle, the built-in one here. And this is going to go up to, let's see, I think it's going to go up to 20. Let me see if I press tab and see if that's big. Maybe I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to try 30. Press tab. And that probably is a good size. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. So I don't need to get out of this window. All I need to do is just select the other marker. And I can do the same thing here, where I'm going to select the size. I'm going to select built-in size is going to be 30. Press tab to execute that and that looks okay. Now what I want to do here now is I want to put the numbers in there, the numbers that came uh, from here. So since I'm in the second one here, the Q2 one, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and go to add data labels and add data labels. This is going to add the data label for the separator. I don't want that. I want the data labels that has the values in these percentages and those are the uh, X values. It, it gave me the Y values, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, but I need the X values. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the labels there 
and go under text options whoops uh, label options and this is under label options here uh, where we have our, our bars here and I don't want the Y value I want the X value so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the X value and deselect Y value and deselect the leader lines and the leader lines are the lines that show up when you move, kind of move the labels far off they'll have a line that uh, connects from the marker to the label so I don't really need that since I want them real close uh, since it doesn't really matter here but I just want, don't want as much uh, extra stuff on the chart I do want however to have the label position in the center so I'm going to go ahead and select uh, center here and so now it's inside I want to do the same thing for the blue one but after, before I do that let me go ahead and uh, make this a little bit bigger and also give it a, a different font color so with that selected I'm going to go under home and then I'll just go ahead and select a uh, white font and increase the size let's see how much we can make this uh, that's too big let's go to 16 16 looks good so I'm gonna do the same thing for the the Q1 markers select the marker there and go ahead and right click add data labels add data label there and we can do the same thing here is take off the reference to the Y and change it from a reference to the X uh, the Y axis to the X axis this is under label options and the label options icon here so select X value deselect Y value deselect the leader lines have it into the center and with this selected I'm gonna go ahead and change the font color and also increase it I believe that was 16 that I had it earlier so I'm gonna type in 16 and then press enter and it should be at the right size so this looks like it is doing it let me go ahead and close this I'm gonna get rid of the grid lines here especially the or uh, the vertical ones select that press delete and let's also change the axis here because we don't want it in increments of 0.5 it should be in increments of one whole number so I'm gonna select that right click go to format axis and under the bounds I'm gonna change that to 4 first so my my maximum one would be 4 so this would be at the top and the minor the major axis units is gonna be 1 select that press 1 press tab and we see that it's there we see that our our first our north uh, data the, the markers here are at the top but we can change that we can kind of move the chart uh, area down lower so it doesn't go all the way up to the top let me go ahead and close this bring select my chart area or my plot area and move that down a little bit and I'm gonna move this across a little bit to also decrease the chart area size here to chart it. and this is where I'm gonna put in my text to reference north east south and west to prep for that I'm, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and make this go a little bit to the right here and remove these references or these numbers that indicate the y-axis I'm just gonna select that and press delete it's almost done let me put in the references to northeast southwest and what I'm gonna do is insert text boxes so go on insert go to text box let me fill it out here I'm gonna make a template here this will be the one for north I can type north here but it's probably be easier for me just to reference the cell here just in case I change it later on so what I can do is go up to the formula bar type equal and then click on north press enter and you will see that north shows up because it's referencing that cell I want to do a little bit more formatting here give that a center Whoops. let me go ahead and select this again give that a center so it's centered and increase the size a little bit and move it up here and what I want to do now is I just want to make a duplicate of that because I want to keep the same consistency in terms of centering the text and the size of the box so I'll go ahead and press control D that's gonna duplicate this bring it down here and reference this to East press equal and click on East press enter and now I have Easter this is selected press control D it will duplicate that and now I, I just go up to the formula bar press equal uh, select south press enter and press control D again since that's selected and make a copy of this one and type equal and select west and press enter and you can see 
I've got my north, east, south, west. So these, let me see if these percentages are right. North is 35%, east is 50%, south 25%, west 94%. What I can do to finish this off now is insert a title and insert a legend. So I click on my chart, add the plus sign here. I can also do it up here where I can add a chart element. You can see when I click on the drop down, it has a, my different elements. But probably easier way is once you have the chart selected, you can click on this plus sign and you can add it. I can add my chart title and I'm also going to reference my text here in cell A1. So with that chart title selected, press equal or type equal and then click on cell A1. You can see the references to that and it says market share widget one, press enter. We have that. I'm also going to add a legend. So click on that. The legend's here on the side, but I want to change that to having it on the top. So it's pretty much finished. However, there may be some things that are misaligned here. So I'm going to go and select these. I'll press the control key and select east, south, and west. And what you can do here, what that, what's done here is when I press the control key and select this, I've multi-selected this. And what I want to do is align this. So let me align this to, let me distribute this uh, vertically. So it all gets kind of distributed vertically and in case I kind of moved it around and it was a little bit misaligned. And also I'm going to align it to the left. So everything everything is going to align to the left. You can see that it, for the most part it did, but this is kind of off a little bit. So I'm going to align it to the left. And oh, actually it wasn't off. But in case we move things around, sometimes we move stuff around and maybe this got misaligned here. If I kind of moved it over here, I can, instead of trying to smooth it in there, I can just select where I want to reference it, maybe the top one. So that would be my first one, select east. Let me go ahead and select north, east, south, and west. And I can go ahead and align it and align it vertically and then align it to the left. And it kind of does it nicely for me instead of trying to uh, do each one individually, make sure that I have it correctly aligned. That type of multi-select and aligning it with the align command kind of works nicely in that way. So this is the way that we can create a dot plot to look at before and after data. And this is something you can copy and put into a PowerPoint. And it's just kind of a nice way uh, to see uh, this type of data. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.